استقبل حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله في قصر الصغير هذا اليوم سعادة السيد سيمون مارتن سفير المملكة المتحدة الصديقة لدى مملكة البحرين الذي قدم لجلالته أعضاء الجالية الاسكتلندية في المملكة وفي بداية اللقاء صافح جلالة الملك المفدى أفراد الجالية الاسكتلندية وعزفت موسيقى ترحيبية لجلالته على الطريقة التقليدية الاسكتلندية
Your Majesty, Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies and esteemed guests, good afternoon and welcome. The Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom have shared a strong, warm and long-standing relationship over the years and a particularly strong bond has historically existed between the Scottish and Bahraini communities. The Scots have long had a second home in Bahrain and have been an integral part of our society. They have contributed to the development and progress of our beloved country, and we hope that this bond will only strengthen and continue to grow in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Your Excellency Ambassador, honored guests, it is a great pleasure to meet you all and to continue the bonds of friendship between our nations, which stretches back over centuries. For hundreds of years, the people of Scotland and Bahrain have worked and socialized together. The Kingdom of Bahrain has always had an immense respect for the achievements of the United Kingdom, which have only been possible through the hard work of your countrymen and women. The people of Scotland are renowned for traveling the world to seek new opportunities. And we are delighted that you are continuing that tradition here in Bahrain. 
Thank you for bringing your expertise and your talents to our country. We deeply appreciate the part you are playing in our institutions and in Bahrain economy. And we hope you feel very much at home here. Indeed, I know that for many of you, Bahrain has become your home. Though our nations may be different, we have much in common. Both Bahrain and Scotland are driven by great ambitions and the highest values and aspirations. Both are proudly patriotic, and yet both embody a spirit of tolerance in which we celebrate all communities and traditions as well as our own. Speaking of tradition, it seems right to mention the celebration of Burns Night, which I know took place a few nights ago. In honor of your renowned national poet, let me promise that in the case of Bahrain and Scotland, old acquaintances will never be forgot. Thank you once again for your commitment to Bahrain, your loyalty to our people, and your ongoing friendship. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'd like to welcome His Excellency, Mr. Simon Martin, the British Ambassador to Bahrain. Your Majesty, please allow me on behalf of the members of our institutions to thank you for the opportunity 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 وأشار إلى أن العلاقة بين المملكة المتحدة والبحرين هي علاقات فريدة من نوعها حيث يوجد الكثير من المصالح المشتركة والعديد من العناصر المشتركة في تاريخنا وقد تم إبراز كل ذلك بشكل واضح من خلال الاحتفال ب200 عام من علاقات رسمية وأكد سعادة سفير المملكة المتحدة لدى البحرين أن خلال هذه السنة احتفل البلدان بالعلاقات الاتفاقية التجارية والتعاون التاريخي في مجال الدفاع والتحديات المشتركة في مجال الدفاع والأمن في الوقت الراهن كما سلطت الاحتفالات الضوء على كل الأمور الرائعة في قطاع التعليم وعلى العلاقات القائمة بين شعبي البلدين وأشار سعدته إلى أن العديد من رجال ونساء النفط الإسكتلنديين ساهموا في تطوير صناعة النفط في البحرين مشيرا إلى أن الإسكتلنديين في البحرين يساهمون في التنمية وفي نفس الوقت يستمتعون بكرم الضيافة الأصيلة في البحرين ونوه سعادة السفير إلى أن العديد من البحرينيين يزورون باستمرار إسكتلندا وتغلبوا على التحديات المناخية للدراسة في أرقى الجامعات في المملكة المتحدة واختتم سفير المملكة المتحدة لدى البحرين كلمته بالعراب عن فخره في تكريم الجالية الإسكتلندية في مملكة البحرين I do not want to steal the thunder of the chieftain of the Awali Caledonian Society who will follow me. But it's very telling that the society was formed in Awali, the home of Babco. For many Scottish oil men and women have contributed to the development of Bahrain's oil industry and they continue to do so to this day. Now, of course, these days the Scottish oil and gas industry is famous throughout the world, but how amazing that the Scots came here in such force to help develop Bahrain's oil industry many decades before they discovered their own. It was no doubt the Scots who brought us golf in Bahrain, and it was certainly a most famous modern-day Scots, Colin Montgomery, who designed the fiendish course that confronts us at the Royal Golf Club today, which has benefited so much from your support, sir. And there are many other wonderful historic links between our these two countries and nations, by which, of course, I mean Bahrain and Scotland. But I should like, however, to focus on the present day. It is clear from the community of Scots here today, Your Majesty, just how large and vibrant is their presence in your kingdom. 
Scottish men, women and children, all of whom in their different ways are woven into the fabric of Bahraini society, contributing to your country's development and enjoying in equal measure your country's famous, famously warm hospitality. Businessmen and women, teachers, artists, leaders of community organizations, students, and dare I say it, even diplomats, for despite the southern accent, I am proud to claim in my blood to be at least half Scottish myself. And the connections are equally strong in the other direction. Many Bahrainis are frequent visitors to Scotland. Your Majesty's own honorary membership of the Royal and Ancient Golf Club is testament to your own affection for Scotland as well as for golf, as is the existence of a Royal Bahrain Tartan, resplendent in the red of the Bahraini flag and the blue of the saltire, commissioned personally by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince. And there are no end of Bahrainis who have braved the climatic gulf to study at some of the UK's finest universities, such as Edinburgh, Glasgow, and St. Andrews. But Your Majesty, I wonder if it would surprise you to know that one in a thousand of your subjects has graduated in the last 12 years as a Master of Business Administration from the University of Strathclyde. A, a wonderful example of the current contribution that Scotland makes to Bahrain. These Scottish Bahraini graduates are already to be found across the business and government sectors in Bahrain, making, I believe, a really substantial contribution to the economic and wider reform and development which I know is so important to Your Majesty's vision of the future. So, Your Majesty, the links between Scotland and Bahrain continue to grow, and it is a source of great pride to me as British Ambassador that you should wish to honour the Scottish community in your kingdom. From all of us, sir, uh, thank you. Thank you, Ambassador Simon. We welcome Mr. Ewan Riki, Chieftain of Dawali and Menama Caledonian Society. Your Majesty, Your Highnesses, Your Excellencies. Kamalqa Sayyid Aywan Riki, Raisu Jamiati Kaldunian Awali, Kalimatan, Shekara Fiha Jalala Tal Malik Al Mufadda, Ala Hadi Dawa Tal Karima. Mushiran, Ilan Al Bahraina, Tushakil Watan and Al Adi, Dimin Al Escotlandiin. حيث تتوفر حرية الدين والثقافة إضافة إلى الأمن والأمان في البيئة المهنية والمنزلية وبالحياة الاجتماعية التي يعيشها الاسكتلنديون في البحرين وأشار رئيس الجمعية إلى أنه لا حدود لطبيعة البحرينيين الودية ولهذا فإن جميع المقيمين في البحرين فخورون جدا بأن تكون البحرين وطنا لهم وبيتا ولهذا حب البحرين ليس حصريا لدى الاسكتلنديين وعبر رئيس جمعية كالدونيان عوالي عن امتنانه للحرية التي تم منحها بتأسيس النوادي والجمعيات مشيرا إلى إقامة جمعية كالدونيان عوالي السنة الماضية I think it's down to the freedoms of religion and culture that are extended to us, our safe home and work environment and social life that we have here in Bahrain. I am fortunate to work for BAPCO, and I work for many different nationalities and cultures, and I can tell you there is no end of, to the friendly nature of the Bahrainis. And for some strange reason, they have a liking for us Scots. It is the Bahraini people with their warm hearts who make us feel at home. I have also travelled overseas many times with the This Is Bahrain delegation, and I know personally this diverse group of individuals of all nationalities, and they are also very proud to call Bahrain their home. So it's not just us Scots. His Excellency the British Ambassador Simon Martin hosted a gathering of Scots at the Embassy in celebration of St Andrew's Night last year, and I too was delighted to see so many Bahrainis that were invited to the celebration. I wondered why so many Bahrainis attending a Scottish celebration, and as it turned out, they had studied at either one or more of our brilliant universities, were either working in Scotland or enjoyed some other link with Scotland, of which we were all very proud of, which was marvellous for us to see. Your Majesty, 
We are very grateful for the freedom bestowed upon us to form our clubs and societies. And the Awali Caledonian Society celebrated its 82nd St Andrew's Ball last year, and we have just had our 83rd Burn Supper last week. So I think you could say that we're here to stay. We would like to extend an invitation to all Scots, friends of Scotland, but especially our Bahraini friends, to come and join our Caledonian societies, as just like the Kingdom of Bahrain, we welcome everyone and rejoice in our diversity. Your Majesty, once again, we, ex we Scots express our deepest gratitude for your gracious hospitality. Thank you and good afternoon. هذا وقدمت هدية إلى جلالة الملك المفدى باسم الجالية الاسكتلندية بهذه المناسبة